Hi students. Today we are going to start a new unit called Fermat's Principle. Fermat's Principle is one of the most fundamental principles in optics. It was put forward by the French mathematician Pierre de Fermat in the early 15th century. All laws of geometric and optics such as the rectilinear propagation of light, laws of reflection, refraction, lens makers formula, thin lens formula etc. can be deducted from Fermat's principle. Before discussing what actually this principle is, let us revise the term optical path that we have learned in our pre one of our previous sessions. So what was optical path? It is the equivalent distance mu d in air when a ray actually covers a distance d through a medium of refractive index mu. So if a ray is traveling a distance say S1 through a medium of refractive index mu1, its optical path or equivalent distance in air is given by mu1 into S1. Now if the ray of light is passing through a number of media having refractive indices mu1, mu2, mu3, mu4 etc. such that the distances covered in each of these media are S1, S2, S3, S4 etc then the total optical path covered by the light ray or the total optical path of the light ray is given by capital S is equal to mu1 S1 plus mu2 S2 plus mu3 S3 plus mu4 S4 etc. Or I replace it as capital S is equal to summation I mu I S I. Now for a medium having varying continuously varying optical density the optical path in going from p to q can be given by s is equal to integral p to q mu ds we can replace the summation with integral so total optical path is given by s is equal to mu ds now we will go into what is Fermat's principle or what is exactly called Fermat's principle of least time. Now this principle states that when a ray of light travels from one point to another through a set of media, out of all possible paths light follows that path for which the time taken is a minimum. According to this principle when a ray of it is a ray of light. I missed it here. According to this principle, when a ray of light travels from one point to another through a set of media, it follows that path for which the time taken is a minimum. So, let us see this figure. Here, there are two points P and Q and a ray of light has to travel from P to Q. So the ray can follow a number of paths like this. It can go like this, it can go like this, it can go like this, it can go. It can follow a number of paths in reaching from P to Q. Now Fermat's principle states that out of all these paths, it follows that path for which the time taken is a minimum. So let us devise the mathematical form of this equation. So let dt be the time taken by the light ray to travel any small distance ds along its path of motion. Let dt be the time taken by the light ray to travel a very small d, uh, distance ds along the uh, path of travel of the light ray when it goes from p to q. So that dt is equal to ds by v if the light is traveling through some medium. Now I can replace V with 
v equal to mu by no i can replace v with c by mu v equal to c by mu or mu equal to refractive index equal to velocity of light in air by velocity of light in the medium so the equation for dt now changes to mu ds by c because i replaced v with c by mu now this is the small time taken to cover a small distance ds now what will be the total time taken to cover the entire path from p to q so the total time t is given as t is equal to integral of p to q mu ds by c by fermat's principle light ray follows that path for which the time taken is minimum time taken is minimum means delta t must be equal to 0 delta t equal to 0 means delta of integral p to q mu ds by c must be equal to 0 in this equation this implies integral p to q mu ds into 1 by c but c is a constant so we can ignore the c here because c can never be equal to 0 so who should be equal to 0 in the delta of integral p to q mu ds should be equal to 0 this into 1 by c was equal to 0 1 by c can never be 0 so who should be 0 delta of integral p to q integral mu ds must be equal to 0 now this is the mathematical form of fermat's principle but what what do we observe from this equation we observe that when the time taken is minimum what does delta of integral p to q uh, mu ds integral p to q mu ds represent it represents the path length mu integral mu ds represents the optical path length so delta of integral p to q mu ds is equal to 0 means path length must be minimum that means when time is minimum path length is also minimum that means we can restate fermat's principle of least time as out of all possible paths light follows that path for which path length is minimum okay so out of all possible paths light follows that path for which path length is minimum okay so we can state for maths principle in this manner also but there is a discrepancy that is there are a few exceptional cases when light follows the path for which the optical path is maximum for example the light reflected from spherical surfaces there the light does not follow a minimum path it follows a ma maximum path that is the path followed by the light ray is a maximum or there are also cases where the uh, distance covered by the light ray is a constant for example uh, as in the case of lenses the rays follow only a fixed path and those paths are not the minimum paths so what have we have to do is we have to include such cases also in our fermat's principle so i modify fermat's principle as when a ray of light travels from one point to another through a set of media out of all possible paths the light follows that path for which the time taken is an extremum what is meant by extremum time taken can be minimum maximum or constant or that is minimum maximum or stationary in if you state Mm, princip mm, fermat's principle in this manner then it is called fermat's principle of extremum path uh, that is the it follows that path along which the time taken is an extremum so when a ray of light travels from one point to another through a set of media out of all possible paths light follows that path for which the time taken may be a minimum 
maximum or stationary so we have included all the possible conditions in the fermat's principle statement so this is called fermat's principle of extremum path so i think fermat's principle of least time and fermat's principle of extremum path is clear to all of you now we are going to our first assignment that is uh, in this unit you have to prove three things using fermat's principle first one we have to prove the rectilinear propagation of light using fermat's principle that is we have to prove that light tra uh, traveling through a homogeneous isotropic medium always follows a straight line path that is the first assignment that you have to do the second one using fermat's principle you have to prove the loss of reflection and using fermat's principle you have to prove the loss of refraction let me end this class by proving the rectilinear propagation of light using fermat's principle rectilinear propagation of light means light travels in a straight line now according to fermat's principle delta integral mu ds equal to 0 that is the path length must be minimized now for a homogeneous isotropic medium mu is a constant okay mu is a constant throughout it does not vary uh, the optical density or the refractive index does not vary or it takes a constant value in a homogeneous isotropic medium so what can i do i can take this bring this mu outside the integral sign so delta of integral integral p of p to q ds equal to 0 or i can take mu even out of the delta sign because mu is a constant mu into delta of integral p to q ds is equal to 0 okay that means the product of this into this is equal to 0 mu can never be 0 so who must be 0 delta of integral p to q ds must be equal to 0 delta of integral Uh, ds equal to zero means uh, between the points p and q the length must be minimized. What is the shortest distance between any two points? It is a straight line. रंड पॉइंट गल के डेले एट्टूम चरिये दूर एम ना परनाल अद एक स्ट्रेट लाइन है ना अपादु गुण्ड बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स लाइंग इन एन आइसोट्रोपिक होमोजेनस मीडियम औरे 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 पॉल नहीं ला इल्ला प्रॉपर्टीज़ हम औरे पॉल निकलना इल्ला डायरेक्शन लो मौरे पॉल प्रॉपर्टीज़ मारा आदन निकलना आइसोट्रोपिक होमोजेनस मीडियम गल ला इल्ला हम दन्ने लाइट औरे प� minimum duram cover cheyan pattuna path it is that path which has the minimum path length okay so thus we can very easily prove the rectilinear propagation of light using fermat's principle i hope this class is clear to all of you uh, please listen to the class if you have any queries do contact me thank you